Hi everyone, thanks a lot for listening to my presentations, particularly those of you who have been following me up when it comes to neonatal upper bilirubinemia. I have published neonatal upper bilirubinemia or neonatal jaundice. Please check that out. I have published breastfeeding and jaundice where I explained breast milk uh, jaundice and breastfeeding jaundice in duties, including the hidden factor in breast milk that is causing breast milk jaundice. I've also published uh, a separate presentation on pathologic jaundice in neonates in details. Today, I'll be covering up with kinecteros, that is jaundice induced brain damage. Pausing a while because I'm feeling, seriously feeling for those young individuals that have come to this world and they have to pay this horrible price for having this problem that they knew nothing about. And you know why I'm feeling the pain? It is preventable. With that background, let's go. Canicterus is a preventable brain damage secondary to apabilirubinemia in newborn. You can check my video on pathophysiology of jaundice, jaundice in newborn with causes, pathologic jaundice, breastfeeding and jaundice, and then you'll be able to understand why it's so painful to me that some of those kids will end up here. 60 to 80 percent of newborn are affected with jaundice, but only a small percentage will progress to canning terrors. Only small. Well, glad to know there's only a small bit. How about those small percentage? It could have been me when I was a, a neonate. What are the clinical features here? The child will be jaundiced for sure, and it will start from the facial region with the yellowness of the sclera. Then later on, it will progress to form generalized jaundice. The child will be having difficulty feeding, difficulty waking up, will become fuzzy or drowsy. Then note this, they will have high-pitched cry, high-pitched cry, fever, when you check the urine, it's possible to be dark urine. Pale or clear color stools, they may be vomiting, having muscle spasm. They can have decreased muscle tone. Note this also, scissors, scissors. Hearing deafness, tooth enamel staining, abnormal muscle development, and movement. Some with the abnormal posture. When I said prevention, or the other thing I said preventable brain damage, secondary to jaundice. How do we go about the prevention then? Please, moms. You know, the other thing I said, I was having serious pain in my heart that some of these kids will reach this level. And you know why, by the time we'll be rounding up. To prevent this, mom attend adnatal clinics, please. With that, they'll be able to prepare you for this. And somebody is asking me the question, preparing you for what? Okay, let me give you an example. If we know that this woman that is pregnant and is pregnant for the first time is results negative and the husband is results positive, we would have given you, you know, the preparatory mind that we might have to administer Rogan at bed when you have your baby delivered. When your baby is delivered, we will check the blood of your baby. If your baby is results positive, we will administer rogue. And with that, next pregnancy might be saved from this. 
be up to date on your immunization. Or in North America, we'll call it shots. Please follow instructions on ABO and results. I'll just explain that briefly. Don't use medications indiscriminately for yourself or for the newborn. No IV drug usage, please. When you're traveling, make sure you contact your physicians and have prophylaxis. No heavy alcohol and avoid it completely. Make sure that there is adequate nutrition and hydration. Seek advice before using herbs. Bright light may help or fluorescent bulbs at home if there is jobless. When you take all these measures for yourself and your baby, then life may be better. And if baby will suffer from anything, it might not be this if the cause is not something else. The diagnosis is essentially that we should watch the newborn every 12 hours for two days and repeat watching them twice until age of the fifth day. Then we'll assess the total bilirubin and conjugated bilirubin and determine the value of the unconjugated. Blood group for ABO and resus and thyroid stimulating hormone septic workup using the urine, blood, and CSF for culture. Complete blood count and comb stairs. Check the stool, whether it is greenish or not. Liver function test, chest x ray, CT, MRI, depending. And for the antenatal visitation that I said the other time, please check my channel. I've made a separate presentation on the first antenatal visit and how that will help you. Treatment. If it is mild, then we are not going to treat. Let have adequate nutrition with breastfeeding. Phototherapy, if, on, if it is unconjugated, and the value is between 300 micromole per liter and 400 micromole per liter. That will make the insoluble, unconjugated bilirubin to become soluble and could be excreted. In between, you give adequate fluid while on phototherapy, please. But if the value of bilirubin is very high, as high as 400 micromole per liter, then we have to embark on exchange blood transfusion. If you have been administering medication to this acute individual, this is the time to stop it. If, you, if we make the determination that this is infectious in origin, we're going to give antibiotics or antivirals that the case might be, and if it's autoimmune, steroids could be administered. Surgical treatment may be required if there is any uh, obstruction somewhere that is responsible, particularly anything increasing enterohepatic circulation. Can you give us a message if there is vomiting? When the liver is completely under functioning, we can you know, kill for liver transplant as the last result. Then, we tell the mother to go home and represent in case of new problems or worsening of the current situation. You can have liver enzymes and liver function test down. Now, the complications of kernic terrors. That's what uh, will make me cry. Scissors, mental retardation. Imagine that. Imagine something that is preventable. Mental retardation, atrophitality, cerebral palsy, cerebral palsy, and of course, hearing loss. With that, I've come to the end of this short presentation. Please go over it again. Cancel all your friends that are planning to have kids or those that are pregnant. And of course, observe your kids immediately they are delivered. Attend at Nathan. No, even if you don't like your doctor, be close you know, for the sake of the unborn babies. Remember to share and subscribe to my channel.
Thank you. I appreciate it.